can't see because it's too dark. Up. There you go. Come on. Let's get up. Okay. You see it? There they are. There's a bunch of them. What's up, fellow journeyers? So we woke up. I mean, this is stuff that happens when you don't have a clue what you're doing, but um, we found out yesterday that the reason we couldn't find anywhere to stay, Watson Glen Grand Prix Festival is going on. And the cool thing is, so there's like 12 different groups of cars that are racing today. One of them is registering right here at our campground. It's the, uh, I'll call them the coupe group. They're all coupes. These are called coupes. Yeah, coupes. Do you know why these cars are called coupes? All these cars can take their top off. Those Isn't that cool? Coops? Yeah. They're called coops. They're vendors, festivities. Um, there's multiple tracks here apparently. There's like the old track and then I guess the new track and I guess just drive around town um, and on the different tracks. So I know we've never been around anything like this. It's pretty cool. I don't know that your helmet's gonna pass inspection, sweetie. Huh? <laughs> Thought all the cars were here, but we have one more just show up. Oh, this one's my favorite. Check out the DeLorean. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm like starstruck. <laughs> so awesome. Hey, I'm gonna come show you something that will change your life. It's called a DeLorean. It's a DeLorean. <laughs> come on, come on, I'll show you. That's why people are like running around like crazy. Let's go JJ, this is gonna change your life. What are you wearing today, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like a race car, yeah. It's over here. See, it looks like it has wings. There it is. That. I thought that car was made up. No. <laughs> it's a real thing. There are not many of them out there. They're usually museums. Look at, I love how basic it is. Isn't that cool? That is awesome. Yeah. DeLorean. It's a DeLorean. Yeah. Isn't that? It is awesome. Look at that. Wow. This is what we came up yesterday. <laughs> Coming back down and I'm like, we were nuts. <laughs> the view's awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Watkins Glen State Park fiasco continues today. So they're closing down all these roads for um, this car show that's in town. Well, it's not just a show. I think there's like a reenactment of apparently where the racetrack used to be or something, which is in the town apparently. <laughs> so they're closing off huge portions of the road. You can imagine like a marathon or something instead of that. It's a cars <laughs> so that's our problem is we can get to the park now but we're just trying to make sure that we won't be stuck because i think the roads don't open up until like eight o'clock tonight so if you can imagine having um two kiddos out until eight o'clock until the roads open up is not a good scenario so we want to see this trail this is like hoop number 50, I think, at this point. We've, this isn't that big of a town, and we've spent probably an hour driving around <laughs> trying to figure out how to... So I've called the park and was trying to figure the best way to get into the park, out of the park. We're hoping we got it figured out, but we'll see. <laughs> you ready, JJ? You gonna do this? Hensley, I don't know if that's gonna help you hike. That's pretty big. <laughs> you see the gorge. I don't want spoilers. No spoiler alerts. No spoilers. <laughs> Ooh, go down this little... Look at this. 
dinosaur. We're going to see a waterfall. Let's go. Disney. That is a long way down. Check that out. <laughs> he's, he's even like peeking. Does he not get you, buddy? How do you see, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. About two and a half miles didn't sound bad, but <laughs> two and a half of up and down is a different story. Feels <laughs> good, doesn't it? It hurts your knees. How old are you? Five. <laughs> Check that out. Is that a marmot? Yeah, no, they're pretty big. There he goes. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hensley. You coming? I'm going to go ahead and say this is one of the cooler trails we've been on. Uh, is it this worth is all the hurdles? We're or not you, done yet, you but need so. To wait till we're done? <laughs> so far, so good, though. This is awesome. I'm loving all these little pools it's created. I've seen a bunch of those. Anyway. Look where we're going. Oh, this is like something out of Lord of the Rings. It's so cool. This is awesome. Look at that. That's so cool. Wow. Hey, look, that one stick is holding everything up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to go? You want to do it? Let's go. Let's do it. You ready, JJ? Yeah. We might get a little of that. Come on. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Good job, buddy. What do you think about it? You giving up your nap for this, buddy? You know it's good stuff. It is good stuff. If it's worth He'd be giving out a nap cold for. He's so tired. Look at him. He's, <laughs> I can barely he's get... like, but it's so cool. They make me so happy with their positive ions. It's negative ions. I'm just wrong. Negative ions? It's negative. Yeah, they release negative ions. With their what, negative ions make you positive? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's true. True story. Google says so. Oh, he's about to go. Oh. Oh, he's giving it up. <laughs> you did good, buddy. You did you your best. Did. The frowning cliffs, Hensley. I don't see any frowns. I guess you frown if you hit your head on one of these rocks. So I think what makes this so cool, and I know I say this, but like when you go places and you feel like you're on another planet, like I do, I feel like I'm in a movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all these staircases and these waterfalls just keep going and going and they're dropping right in front of us. Crazy. It's so beautiful. Oh, this is awesome. She's <laughs> dying to touch the water with that stick. Hey, did you bump your head, Hensley? Is it making you frown? Yeah, a little one just for you, huh? Woo! I like to catch water. It's almost so pretty you don't feel the burn, right? Is it? Yeah. I felt it. <laughs> it's like not quite that good, huh? Warning, anyone with a stick will be attacked by a bear. Huh? What? No. That's you. No. Protect with caution. Stay on the my trail. This is the big one. Keep away from the Cliff. bears. Cliff. Cliff edge, that's right. All right, good job. Look up there, babe, look at that. I see a camper. Campers. Oh, campers. Oh, those campers. You get These the people that stay inside the park are ridiculous. <laughs> you gotta have the 40 footer and stay outside the park. Yeah. Well, even if we could have fit, this place was gonna be booked up because of that car show. Yeah, we couldn't have got in, but. <laughs> 
but knowing we could. <laughs> it was 35 feet or less, just to let you know. <sighs> There's trade-offs. Yeah. We could have walked to this anytime we wanted to inside the campground. We get that extra space for our living. So. Yeah. Ugh. Still worth it. It's such a toughie. Depends on how many of these places we see, then we might <laughs> change our Downsize. mind. Downsize. <laughs> so this is the South Rim Trail, which seems way more nature-y so far. Um, that was the North, that's the Gorge Trail over there. So you're like in it, which is the awesome part. So a lot of people we saw were just doing down and backs in the Gorge because it was so awesome. That's how good. you get kids to hike. I've been a good hiker. Uh, for you being such a good hiker. Aww. You've been a good hiker too? Put these in your pocket. The trail's got some views too. What we got here? There we go. So just, as the name implies, the Gorge Trail means you're in the gorge. Well, I don't even know if we're on the rim. I guess technically we are, but you're not gonna get much of a view from the south rim apparently. Um, well, well, you get a view of the we, trees. We saw people down lower. We thought yeah. this went down lower. Yeah, I kind of thought it there? would. I don't, I don't know. We're always lost. We're not lost. I know where we're at. I mean, there's the gorge yeah, down there. The good news stick. is, I'm already, I'm already carrying your one. Hensley, we are not. Pick a stick. Pick one. We do not need all those sticks. Really? The good news is, if you want more peaceful, serene, on your own, nobody around on trail. Like apparently nobody's I don't taking know this. Why nobody would want to take this yeah, trail? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Gorgeous gorge. <laughs> gorgeous gorge. The gorge is gorge. Look how much bigger the long bed looks than ours, Hensley. <laughs> it looks massive, doesn't it? It does. There's pretty going blank. Look yeah, I like it, man. That's a lot of chrome. <laughs> I like that, though. It's nice. I really hope they're not in there looking at us right now through those tinted windows. All right, Hensley. Yeah, it looks way shorter. Look at that. Yep, there it is. Brain. <laughs> I think we're on the racetrack or something in the brain. Oh, no. <laughs> Can we get out is the question. I need to get fuel, but that's not happening. We could just hang out there. I'm so proud of you for taking care of your bike. That I'm looks making, awesome. I'm making it. I'm making it myself. So it's when beautiful. it's gonna come nice and dazzling. Nice and dazzling, huh? Hensley also made me a book. Now before I show this, know that we are not perfect parents. <laughs> Hensley's not the perfect child. We have our, uh, she gets her stubborn nature from Rissa over here, but every once in a while, <laughs> yeah. we butt heads. And uh, we butted heads, more specifically her head grabbed a hold of mine, I guess. I'll show you what I mean, but uh, let's see. She handed me this after she was sent to her room. Uh, this is us, this is me, I guess. Lovey, happy. This is Hensley, lovey and happy. And the reason we're having lovey and happy is because she wrote, I'm sorry, I bit you. Yeah. Are you sorry that you bit me? Are you listening to me out here? <laughs> I love you. I know, but sometimes she does get mad and she I'm gonna say she does get that temper from this side of the family over here so Quit blaming me That is for you. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take okay. Look, I'll take the hard-headedness if you take the temper I, just, I don't have a temper. I like how she even watch where she gets down with her napkins what? I'm showing I'm showing everybody how you're thinking ahead watch when you get done with your napkins, what do you do? She puts them on the ground and she even puts a rock over it so the wind doesn't catch you. <laughs> That's good thinking, isn't it, Hensley? That thing is looking great. Who'd she get the cleaning from? That's from you. <laughs> so I like things organized, but it's not a big deal to me if they're like squeaky clean. JJ just... He gets his sass from you. <laughs> oh yeah. That was a pretty sassy comment for somebody not sassy. <laughs> Above and beyond, Hensley. Above and beyond. I love it.
You see farm. What? Yeah, we made it to the farm, didn't we? Hey, guess what they got? I know they got a corn maze, at least. Remember on Curious George, the corn maze? Mm -hmm. I saw a sign for some ice cream. <laughs> we will be, uh, we will definitely be giving them business while we're here. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> so this is our first ever time. We're gonna do two things for the first time tonight, actually. Um, but our first time using Harvest Hosts to stay somewhere. Uh, we had it before, actually. And we, we just, the routes we were taking, we just weren't hitting many places that were great for Harvest Host. But, but the Northeast is like loaded with a great place to uh, use it. So we've got it. We're using it already. Everybody that uses it says they love it. So we're like, maybe we're missing out. Which originally when we first started looking into Harvest Host 2, um, it was just a lot of different kinds of wineries. But now they've kind of expanded out to like farms and um, museums and like golf courses so there's lots of different options for places to park and give you fun stuff to do too. Once we saw there was a farm on the way I know Hensley like Hensley do you like farms? Mm -hmm. She's our farm girl. <laughs> so once we saw there was a farm on the way uh, we definitely knew we had to check this out and then the second thing we're doing for the first time is we're going to be I think we'll probably be doing this, I don't know, but I think we're gonna be spending the night while hooked up. I have to wait and see what the angle is and all that, but I would prefer to just, it's probably just one night here. I would prefer to just stay hooked up to the truck, maybe shoot the slides out and we'll see how um, how bouncy this thing is. <laughs> Airstream is so low to the ground, like even without the stabilizers down, it wasn't bad. So I don't know what this is gonna be like without stabilizers. I would assume me auto stabilizing while hooked up to the truck would not be a good idea. And boondocking, but we've boondocked, we boondocked in this already, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's not first. We traveled here, um, all the fuel tanks were topped off and about a third of water in the RV and um, it did good. This truck just is great. I mean, seriously, people say they can't tell something's back there and I was like, whatever. I mean, really, I can't tell much that it's back there. If I start going to doing a grade or if I try to gun it real fast, maybe I might notice, but other than that, um, it brakes well, accelerates well, holds its speed. I get 10 miles a gallon, it seems like, no matter where the tanks are at or what's going on or what the terrain is so far. <laughs> but I'm happy, that's better than eight, maybe not 12, but 10 to 11, like the whole way, pretty much. All right, you'll have to show her your wristband, okay? <laughs> Good job, Hensley. Wait, Maya, you gotta wait. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow, you're flying down that thing. <laughs> that was awesome. Hensley, wait. Don't. All right, wait till he says go. All you gotta do is push that little button right in push there. Push that button. <laughs> there it goes. Are your face painted? <laughs> oh, how cute. <laughs> Get a bag, pick some apples. Gently hold the apple, lift and twist, do not pull. Do we want small and sweet, large and tart, big and yellow? Let's do small and sweet, Sansa's. Excellent for pies and pink. All right, so lift and twist, Hensley. Hensley, come here, come here. <laughs> lift and twist, you see how easy that came off? That means it was ready, you okay? Put that apple in Good there. Good job, put it in there. There you go. Can we do another? It's a big and yellow. That's what they're called. Yeah. All right. Come on, Hensley. Find a big and yellow. They're called. Oh. They're ginger gold. All right. Come on, Hensley. Uh, we may have to go pretty high to get these. Looks like everybody's. I'm gonna lift you up, Hensley. Everybody's got the lower ones. Get it. There you go. All right. Did you pick some apples. You pick some apples. You did good, didn't you? Did you pick some apples? We got. Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> eight, eight, eight. That's five pounds, eighty-four ounces. I think. There you are. Thank, uh, thank you. you. The Less Drink More Journey comes to your uh, your Harvest Hosts. We will, uh, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna hook you up. We will, we'll, we're t we take one for the team. Uh, what does the goat say? <laughs> There's the RV. I asked her, the lady that's checking out with the apples, like what we had to try that was in the store, because we haven't even been to that yet. <laughs> she said the cider donuts. Ooh. She said she thought they still had some. Um, I don't know, hopefully they do. I think they close at six, so. We're gonna scarf this down and <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. It's so cool, our RVs right here. Um, yep, let's see how wobbly this thing is without the uh, stabilizers down. Now, I do realize I could probably manually 
maybe use them and watch them and adjust and we're not gonna do that though we'll just we're here for one night we'll be okay so i decided that i am going to at least put these down to take some pressure off the back of the truck but i think that's going to be about it as far as like stabilizers or whatever okay. side to side Looks kind of silly doing that. Doesn't seem that bad, so that's good. And we're riding pretty level on the truck already, so as long as we're parked in a level spot, we're not, whatever it is, we're not, you know, leaning forward or leaning back or whatever. Does this smell like apples? I can smell it. Apple cider donuts. They taste like the um, Pikes Peak donuts to me a little bit. They're better than that. That's what they remind me of, though. Yeah. It's that kind of donut. But they don't like plaster world famous all over the place so you don't go in with the expectations that they're like they're good though they're good they had pies too but uh they had pies yeah so when you get a harvest host membership you get to stay for free at the campgrounds <laughs> they're not really campgrounds though you... oh you get to, well, you get to stay for free at the host place but you're really you're supposed to buy them a gift or that's more boondockers welcome i guess you go and you spend money at the establishment yeah you just buy something but we've spent more than we would have spent at a campground, which is okay because it's a good experience. Yeah, it's, had a blast today. It's been a fun experience. The food's been great. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not complaining. Havana Glen, great campground. Kind of more challenging that the car show happened to be there, but that was fun too. Yeah. That was fun that we got mm -hmm. to see the Back to Future car, the DeLorean. I learned yeah. that that's a real car. That was fun. <laughs> And they would just come... I showed it to you at Universal Studios. It was a real I car. I it was a prop. Oh. That could have been well, a prop. Right. I had no that idea that was car. a real car. Didn't it, like, fly in the movie? I mean, that's... Well, that one didn't fly, I don't think. <laughs> but it's a real car. But this Harvest Host has been nice. And I think they apply not just to us with families because they have farms and, and museums and stuff like that, but, I mean, couples that want to go to vineyards and breweries and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they even have, like, a golf one, which I have no... I took a golf class in college but other than that like my dad tried to teach me it didn't it didn't go well, i bet that so. was i would like to have been a, a mosquito on the tree or i don't know i'd like to have seen that going on yeah it was like i bet that was entertaining it, it was <laughs> it was an interesting i mean i'm pretty athletic but golf. no but your dad yeah i can see your dad being he's big and intimidating <laughs> and marissa like something new that she wasn't already good at Let's just say like the head it. of the club went further than the ball. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds about right. That <laughs> um, if you're interested in Harvest Hosts, um, if you go through the link I'll have with this video, you can get 15% off. Um, we've enjoyed it. We've heard great things for years about it. We just haven't really been in an area where it worked for us with our travel, but we're hoping maybe it'll fit into this groove we're figuring out more. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to check that out, click that link. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more. Actually, it costs you even less because you get 15% <laughs> off. So um, check that out. Yeah. I think heart. we're going to like it. I think so too. Yeah. But we're heading from here to um, somewhere in the Northeast tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know where or how far. Oh, we're wow. actually we're literally going to like sit down and work on that and figure that out once we get done summing up. Upstate New York has been awesome. Like, it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. And not what you think of when you think of New York. Well, it remind honestly, it reminds me of Tennessee. See, it reminds yeah. me of maybe home. that's why it's so beautiful. Yeah, we, <laughs> we love it. Does. We're it does. It reminds me of home. It really it, yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. In the winter, it's probably much beautiful different. in another sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, just all the farms. Oh man, because we're close to Syracuse right now. And, yeah, um, it's it's beautiful up here. So definitely recommend checking it out. We're gonna continue to head northeast somewhere. Uh, we'll be sharing that with you guys. Yeah. So. But for now, Lots more to come. Yeah, more to come. But for tonight <laughs> and for today, we're going to wrap things up. I'm going to do my best to not eat another one of those apple cider donuts. So we're going to fight over the last donut. Is there just one left? I don't know. How many have you eaten? I don't know how many you eat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see A girl happens. does not tell Oh yeah. her age, her weight, or how many donuts she has eaten. Well, I can figure it out. Well, I have like six of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to figure that out. And we'll catch you guys later.